say toast five times. Toast, 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 toast. Okay, what do you put into a toaster? Uh, toast. Ah, no, it's bread, isn't it? <laughs> well, actually, on fingertips, it's not even bread that you put into a toaster. Oh. Sorry. See, on our fingertips toaster, we put CDs and DVDs. And look how cool this is. It's even got a little lever to pop up your DVDs just like a real toaster. And the CD version works in just the same way. All you do is pop them up and choose which one you want to listen to. It's really impressive, isn't it? And would you believe the fingertips toaster act started out as... A simple shoebox. So, if you fancy making the fingertips toaster rack, take your shoebox, thank you, Fern, and you also need a lid to a smaller shoebox as well. Place this face up inside the box and push it towards the back because you want to make sure this is securely stuck to your shoebox with lots and lots of sticky tape. And it really does need to be securely down because this is going to make a sort of hinge. Let's just put one more bit on there. This will make a hinge and this has to hold the weight of your CDs and DVDs. Then get yourself a cocktail stirrer or a wooden lolly stick and stick it to the middle of the smaller lid. Again with a bit more sticky tape there. And we'll just put one more bit on just there as well. And then cut a slit at the front of your box and take that bit out. So this way your lever can move up and down, like that. There you go, Fern. Thank you, Steve. But now you need to cut out a ruler-sized strips of cardboard and you want to stick them across your box. So you want to stick them inside the front of your box, just there, and over this side of the back of your box. Then take your DVD and measure the width of the distance in between each strip. And then you can just stick the next one in just there and keep going until you fill up the whole box, being careful not to cover over this strip here. And then you'll have some lovely little toaster pockets. And now, to make the actual rack of your toaster, take the lid of your big shoe box and just cut off the ends and then flatten it out like this and make a ruler width border all the way around the edge. And on one side, you want a double ruler thickness. So let's just add another line here like that. And this part, you're going to fold over the front of your toaster just there in just a second. But first, you need to make the slots that your DVDs or CDs are going to go in. So, this is really easy. All you do is make a mark either side of your DVD and just join up the dots like this. Then, get a ruler width in between that. And again, make another couple of dots either side there and there. Join the dots up and keep doing this all the way along until you've got to the end and then cut out the slots in between. And once you've cut it out, it'll look like this. Just stick it to your shoe box. Just stick this section here, that's a bit which is two ruler widths wide. And then you want to curve it over to give it a nice round toaster look. Get another piece of card which will reach the bottom of your shoe box. Stick that in place just there. And then push your card down and stick it right the way down to the bottom of your shoe box. There we go. And it's really starting to come together. It certainly is. And to neaten up your toaster, turn it on its end and draw around onto a piece of card. Cut out two of these shapes and stick one there and one there. Now, this just hides any gaps that you may have. Now, you could do what we've done and stick on a paper plate, cut round it, stick it in place, and this just makes it look more funky. Check that out. Looks good, doesn't it? Yep, and now you can either paint it or you could cover it in coloured card and then add extra detail like a temperature control just made from a milk carton lid. So if you'd like to make yourself a fingertips toaster rack, just check out the fingertips website. Click on top make and all the details will be there. We'll give the address at the end of the show. But now, have a look at these. How about making a shiny version, one of my favourites, just covering it in mirror card to really turn up the heat. So store your favourite DVDs or CDs in the latest up-to-the-minute, top-of-the-range fingertips toaster rack.